January, too cold to walk. Oh look, phone's ringing. <laughs> What are you up to, Didge? Kind of a nice day, huh? Jim apparently didn't want to stay home today, so he's out here vacuuming the trucks, as someone should do. Oh. Don't miss a spot. <laughs> Did I get your attention? I'm getting her clean. <laughs> well, you think these things got dirty after three days of loading with the wind blowing the dust directly into the cabs? <laughs> well, that's why. Got everything else pretty much done, but uh, oh, that gets out here, it might as well. <laughs> it was like every time we opened the door, it would just shovel it all in. We could have wheeled it right over here, but we didn't. We only needed a quart. Well, that's not handy to get to. Picked the wrong funnel. What did you do, Jim? Uh, Alan did that. Alan. I knew it. All right, now I'm going to get in here nice and Deciding. Nice, right? Yeah, good thing the camera can't see us snuggling. Yeah. When you're ready. I'm ready, Jim. All right, All right let's go. I'm slipping. Hold on. Oh. i got to tighten mine up a notch. All right, you ready? Yep. Go. We Let's moved it. Up. Ready? Again? There we go. There. All right. Woo. That one's been on there a while. Yeah. The good filter wrench doing its work. God, I didn't think them other ones had that long a thread on them. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, it's been on there a while. She's, we could uh... use a new one. All right, I'm going to load one of these up, and we'll get Jim out of here. He can head down to the ethanol plant. And in the meantime, I got... Something exciting, maybe a couple exciting things that we're gonna do here, but we'll get Jim out of here first. Five seconds. Okay, back up. Right there. You're all good, Seven, and I called CVEC. They are open and taking corn. Let me know if the fog is bad. You can turn around if you want. We could either take the Hoffman or we don't have to hit the road today. Ten more, thanks. Onyx, you want to tell the viewers here what kind of fun we're going to have today now, what we're up to? A lot of fun. A lot of fun? Yep. Why is that? Because uh, we're doing some snowmobile stuff. We are going to go buy the 1998 Polaris XC700 that my dad bought when I was 13, 14 when he bought that thing. And it was the coolest sled ever. Fast. And I have it was very fast. We're gonna show you guys the inside of our shop here that you never really get to see this This was the old farm shop, but we couldn't get any equipment in it because it's too low So it's hard to imagine but at one time We actually had six race cars in here at one time six Now we keep the car at car owner Corey's house and we've got Onyx's go-kart here We've got it all stripped down. We got all the panels off of it. There he is right there. Some of you will recognize this guy. Are, are you are you in character? No, I'm ready. Is there a character? No, it's just the guy. It's just the guy, just a fella? Just a fella? <laughs> this is Derek and Bradley from yeah. Vice Grip Garage. Check out their YouTube channel. He's the one that's gonna help me get this thing going today. Maybe-ish, sorta kinda. Maybe-ish, sorta kinda. That's good enough for me. Yeah. I have nothing else going. We're just gonna wing it and see what happens. Okay, Derek, I found my dad's Polaris XC700 that I haven't ridden since I was 15 probably. Mm -hmm. um, I hear it's been parked for a while. Right next to a, a kick-ass old El Tigre that <laughs> you're gonna pick up today. The boss, the El the Tigre. Boss. Can you help me get this thing running? I will kind of try with you, yes. Well, that's kind of your specialty, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll see what we can do. Once we're done with that, I need to talk to you about an old square body Chevy. <laughs> I'm not fussy, I want something that drives. I could definitely help you there. See, a millennial should never have to hook up his own trailer. There it is, Onyx. Grandpa's old sled. Looks like the duct tape job did it. Well, yeah. that happens when things get older, you know. Some of us gotta tape stuff up. You might just have oh, to Oh man, look at that. I had that needle pegged once when I was not much taller than Onyx. I don't think I don't think Grandpa was I think he was impressed, he just wasn't allowed to admit it in front of mom. <laughs> 
think that was heavy. This one's going to be. This one's not any lighter? No. Yeah, you were right. I am slightly winded. <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely pumped here. I is this real life, Onyx? Nope, this is definitely fake. You don't even remember that sled. That might be the first Artie Cat to ever be in this shop. And the last. And the last. But this one over here, if that thing could talk, it probably remembers. Oh man. That's some rear suspension travel I right there. Feel it. It, <laughs> it was last licensed in 2015, so I'm thinking the three years since he rode it is actually five to six. We're gonna get the gas out, we're gonna pull the air box off. I'm a little concerned as to why this little guy's flopping around here. We may not have spark, but we're gonna find out. We got new plugs for it, fuel line if we need. We'll clean the carbs a little bit. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get it running as is. Bound and determined, right? Fuel line hooked up here. We're gonna pressurize the tank once the noise maker over there quits. We'll pressurize the tank, push the fuel into here. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw some new plugs in it. What did you find, a treasure? Yeah, so it's uh, slightly dirtier than yours, but it'll be fine. It should be fine, it kind of filters things, right? You want to pressurize that tank? Yep. See if we can get some fuel to flow out of here. We got a little WD-40 in in case we need some lubrication in the cylinders. Got new plugs there. Don't know for sure that we got spark yet, but should I go? We got plugs in there to keep the cylinder closed while we go. Yep. That's good. See if we can get something going. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. I got ready to in. Does it smell good? No. That doesn't look too bad. We'll get that off and see what's inside. A little scuzzy. Not bad. We've started making bets. And what did you say, Derek? Five pulls? Five or less. Five or less. If we prime the fuel system. I said eight. Bradley? Six. I wanted to go with 17, but since everybody else went low, I picked 13. 13 before I knew it was taken. Yes, yeah, see, so I must have had the best number there. I'm gonna stick with 13. I, I might have to pull because I don't want you sandbagging the poles. <laughs> but I also I didn't know about this priming business. Oh, see, now he's oh, oh he's getting a little wishy-washy yeah. now, huh? can't believe it guys I'm I'm giddy I have I have literally thought about that sled constantly that was my favorite sled that we ever had that dad ever had 
I, I knew for a long time who owned it after dad did, but for the last 10 years, I didn't know for sure where it was. Was able to track it down through the guy that owned it after dad and, cow, that's cool, that's cool. You can tell she's a gem by all the smoke in the shop. So the left cylinder ended up with a mild fuel leak. And by mild, I mean it was, it was leaving a trail. And I had no brakes, so I, I pulled open the reservoir here and I'm thinking the condition inside there might have something to do with it. I don't know, what do you think, Derek One? Uh, slightly. Slight. She's a bit crusty. How does it taste? Not good. What is oh, this stuff yeah. in your cauliflower? You never want brake fluid that doesn't taste good. That's the problem. Here's Derek Two. Clean the carburetors out real good, like. It's gonna take you more pulls to get it going than it took me the first time. I'm wondering. Maybe there's a pine needle in the carburetor. I'm running out of breath. Ah. We could have another beer and think about it. So Derek too remembered that he turned the gas off, so we're gonna make Derek one start it now. I'll be the millennial behind the camera. Uh oh. Oh. Here, so, oh, here we go. There we go. It's like a kitten at a milk pail. Derek, are you gonna bring Barry home? Oh yeah. There's oh. nothing wrong with this. We gotta give him an update on this thing. So what was it? It was the, uh, look at that lean. That's a real good lean. You, you're pulling like the, the twin balance. string off the ground. What was it, the coil? The ignition coil. The yeah. ignition coil, doggone it. It needs an ignition coil, otherwise, I mean, it's mint. It's it, only got like 58,000 miles. 58,000 miles, that's it? Yeah. It's sure. got the uh, back support and the seat for the well, suspension, because yeah, like you need it. Yeah, that's get easy on the concrete. <laughs> Here I am, two days later. We ended up having some cold snacks that night, some wobble pops, whatever you might want to call them. And I forgot to turn the camera on again, which probably wasn't a bad thing. But we got that sled running. I'm super pumped about it. If you guys want to see more of that sled, you can head over to our second channel. Uh, we call it Between the Rows. It's linked down below. Also, don't forget to check out Derek's channel. Vice Grip Garage, head over to both those channels if you like what you see. On another note, I completely forgot that I was called out by Wes Pandy, the one lonely farmer, one of the original farm tubers himself. He called me out and, and wants me to do a burnout with a tractor. So I'm gonna walk around here, see if I can come up with an idea. Oh boy, I don't know, we got options. We got options. I can't do it. I can't beat up on her like that. That's not gonna work. Guys, I don't know, I, uh, rubber's expensive. Okay, I wouldn't be that irresponsible and stupid. I'm sorry there wasn't any smoke, Wes. Remember, if you wanna watch us clean this thing up, get to work on it, along with other videos that are just random, nothing to do with farming, check out Between the Rows. That is our second channel we just started. And make sure you check out Vice Grip Garage as well. Thanks for watching. Keep it between the rows.